Most folks know Scotty Reynolds as the guy who walks the streets of Lexington, North Carolina. But no one knows him like Mama Gail. When we have our little tizzy, she'll say, Scotty, no, don't call me Mama. Scotty was 10 years old when Gail Whitehead came into his life. My mama didn't have money to buy me Christmas, and I was kind of sad. And I told the mailman about it. I, he read my letter and he told me scale about it. He awoke to a veritable trove beneath the tree. When Scotty asked where it all came from, his mom replied, You're old Scotty and Angel. 30 years later, the former social worker is still watching over the mentally disabled man. Hey, Gail. Scotty, Scotty. Abused by his father, Scotty's mother left him when he was 14. Whitehead, who now runs a crisis ministry, became his power of attorney. Diagnosed with cervical cancer five years ago, one of her biggest worries was what would happen to Scotty. I didn't know if there would be another Gail Whitehead that would come along and, you know, kind of be his look after person. Fearing he'd end up in a group home, Scotty announced he was going to buy a house. And I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> Not only did Scotty find a house, he found someone to give him a loan with Whitehead as co-signer. On a recent rainy Saturday, volunteers came out to help get the house ready for painting, including contractor Mark Lamoureux, a high school classmate. Everybody knows Scotty knows he's got a good heart, probably a heart bigger than this house. Scotty says it's Whitehead who has the biggest heart. If it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in prison or dead. I might give her a lot of grief and stuff, but I am grateful to him. Oh, I'll always worry about him. He's a knothead. He doesn't listen, but I do love him. Whitehead's cancer is in remission, and she reminds Scotty she'll have a key to his new house to check in when he least expects it. Alan Breed, Associated Press, Lexington, North Carolina.